one of the best things about having my own cartoon show is that I get to meet my cartooning heroes. And today, today's got to be one of my favorites and probably yours too. For the past 50 years, my guest has been drawing and writing the Army's worst and funniest Army private, Beetle Bailey and his wacky bunch of Army buddies. And Beetle Bailey is seen in over 1,800 publications worldwide. And in addition to that, my guest has created High and Lowest, Sam and Silo, Boner's Ark, and he's even the founder of the International Museum of Cartoon Art here in Boca Raton, Florida, where we are right now. And I'd like to introduce him to you, my new friend, Mr. Mort Walker. Mort, welcome to the show. Bruce, nice to be here. Oh, great to have you on the show. Now, as I said, 50 years of Beetle Bailey. Where do you come from? Is it based on someone you know? Is it you? I don't know. All my characters are based on real people. Okay. I had a, a high school buddy who was so lazy that uh, we went to play golf one day and his mother said he's still in bed. So I go upstairs. I said, come on, David, let's get going. And he just turned over and went back to sleep. I turned his bed over. He fell out on the floor, grabbed his pillow, and went on sleeping. <laughs> we, <laughs> missed our, we missed our tea time. And you missed your tea time, and that was Beetle Bailey. And that's that was Beetle that's, Bailey. And that's where you get it. Now, uh, Beetle Bailey and Sarge, that's where most of the interaction happens. Mm -hmm. But I counted, and tell me if I'm right, about 12 or 13 characters in the strip. I mean, it's really extensive. How many people I are I have there? more characters than any other strip that's running, I think. I've got about 30 characters. Okay, now, what is, what is the reason for that? Well, an army is, isn't, isn't run by one or two people. You've got to have a whole platoon. Is it also because when you come up with a gag and it doesn't fit somebody, you say, we'll create somebody else? Yeah, I, I like to uh, space out the characters, uh, the work that they do. Beatles always on Monday. Uh, the side characters like the dog or the black lieutenant on Tuesday. Miss Buxley's always on Wednesday. I see. Then it goes on down the line. They, okay. have, they have their days. Okay. Well, would you start by drawing the star of the strip, Beetle Bailey? Well. And explain to us a little bit about how you, maybe you designed him and also has he evolved over the years? Well, he's evolved because he started out as a college character. Okay. Based on my experiences at the University of Missouri. And then the Korean War heated up and I had to put him in. So there's one big change. Mm -hmm. He was tall and lanky, just like my friend David Hornaday. Mm -hmm. Now he's more squat and compact because it's just easier to fill up the space with him. He always has three freckles. Okay. And they're, or, they're always placed in that same spot too, aren't they? Well, whenever my, wherever my pen hits the page, yeah. Okay. But three, and that's it. That's right. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, his interaction is always with Sarge, and I like to... That's one of my favorite characters, and his dog, who looks just like him. Well, I had a Sarge whose name was Octavius Savu when I was in the infantry. Mm -hmm. And he was about the meanest, toughest guy you ever can imagine. One day after a particularly tough day, going through the obstacle course, we came back, and on our pillows was a poem that he'd written to my boys. And I thought, what an incongruous thing to happen. <laughs> you know, that guy's got, actually got a heart. <laughs> So I, I based this character, Sergeant Snorkel, uh -huh. on Sergeant Savu. And he does have a heart. That's great. Wait a minute. Now, now uh, put his collar in, please, and let me see. Uh, now, what you do there is you simplify things like the collar, and your, your style is very clean and very neat, I noticed, and right to the point. Uh, I learned that from Disney. Uh, okay. I loved Disney when I was young. I did all the Disney cards when I worked for Hallmark Cards. Okay. And I learned how to draw the simple line. That, straight uh, to the point type thing. Straight things. to the point. No messing around. I would love to have clean and neat compositions without things interfering with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, you know, I just make it readable. I want people to be able to read it quickly, fast, and, and not miss anything. I see. I mean, communication. Of, <laughs> yeah, you, you get it right to the people. I understand. Mm -hmm. quick, quick recognition. What about your method of working? I mean, do you uh, pencil? Is it tight penciling? Loose? How's it go? I pencil very tightly because someone else does my inking. My son, Greg, who's my oldest boy, helps me with it. And mm -hmm. I want him to know exactly where I want my line. I don't so want to do a lot right of sketching. So you're pretty right on the mark again. with your penciling. Okay. okay. And it's simpler that way. You get, some guys get in there and get sketching. I think, which line do they uh, know what, to what, use? Yeah, and then if it doesn't come out right, I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's understandable why it's not coming out. Okay. Now, I, as I mentioned, uh, Sergeant uh, Snorkel's dog, which is an animal in the strip, and it's a very funny character. Could you draw that for us, too? Sure. This character was based on a cartoonist, actually. Okay. He was a New Yorker cartoonist. His name was Otto Soglo. Otto Soglo, the little king. Yeah. Okay. And he was about five feet high, maybe wasn't even that, that high. Mm hmm And uh, he was always grumpy. Yeah, really, really, really. It sounds just like a dog. 
And so when I created Otto, I thought, I'm going to base his character on, on my Otto. What about, what kind of advice could you give our friends at home if they wanted to come up with their own comic strip? Like, you know, you come up with so many and you've created so many successful ones, like I said, uh, High and Lois and uh, Sam and Silo. And what would be your, your suggestion to, to, uh, to, to write and draw about? Uh, a very strong central character that uh, people get to know. They know his habits and the funny things he does. Okay. He, he can't be a success. He's got to be a failure. Okay. And Comedy is, is uh, a person in trouble. Right. right. Okay. You know, a rich, successful guy is not very funny. Yeah, right, right. Nothing happens to him. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, a character that people would want to tune in every morning and spend some time with at the breakfast table. Uh -huh. I, so I create friends for people. I see. Uh, they have each specific personality. I try to keep them consistent, like Beatles, lazy, Plato's smart, Zero's dumb, Sarge's mm -hmm. tough. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't miss. I like to base them on real people so that I can keep the, the characters consistent. Well, as I said in the beginning, we're out of time right now. You really are one of my cartooning heroes since I'm a kid. I've grown up loving your work, and uh, I wish you 50 more years of continued success with Beetle Bailey and everything else you do. I'll take another 50 years. Thanks so much <laughs> for, be for being on the show. Okay.